What's up everybody, Ricardo the Barber here. And we have a little tutorial on how to do a beard. First off, I'm gonna make sure I pick out the beard all over. This way I can have all the hair laying um, nice and flat or you know coming out properly all nice and even. This way when I go to trim it up, everything cuts nice and clean. I start off by making my zero guideline with my babyless trimmers. Now I grab my Auster Fast Feeds and I make another inch guideline with the clipper open. I throw on my one guard, keep the clipper open, and I add another inch. I go ahead and throw the two guard on there and I start blending the dark hair into the guideline. I consistently brush the hair so this way all the hair gets into the guard uh, and gets all cut evenly. So now I have my 1 16th guard open and I'm gonna go ahead and start closing it ever so slightly to blend the hair down into that first initial guideline. Once I'm complete with that, I grab my Auster Fast Feeds and I, I use just the blade half open and then I close it uh, slowly and I start blending the last guy line away and then you can see the fades start happening. Here I attach my one guard and I go over any kind of dark spots and I try to lighten them up to make the blend look a little better. I complete, I complete the same process on the other side of the head. Now here is my favorite spritz. It's called Pump It Up Gold. It holds the hair in place and uh, gives you a nice little ash line when you have a good um, set pair of trimmers. So I use this all the time whenever I'm doing a shape up. You go ahead and you dry it thoroughly. Um, everywhere with your dryer, you can keep it on cold. This stuff is, you know, it, it dries real fast so you don't really have to uh, worry about throwing heat on the client. Just throw a cold air and you're good. So here, um, in this area, I like to just do a straight line going down. Some clients, you'll notice their hair will grow kind of like backwards behind the ear. Um, I usually don't follow that pattern. I just keep like a nice straight line going down. And then I connect it to the bottom of the uh, neck 
in a nice, um, strong, square box fashion. And that's what you'll see I'll be doing here. Now I'm keeping this beard pretty natural, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it as high as I can. Um, so I'm, I usually when I'm doing the radius, I use the edge of the clipper, the uh, trimmer, and I just kind of carve out a nice radius and I keep the uh, sideburn area as wide as possible. So here it's about a half inch. Um, that's how he likes it, which is also how I kind of like to do it. And I just make sure I get all the hair all the way up high on his cheek that's even near his eyes. This way everything comes out nice and clean. I repeat the same process on the other side. And as you can see, um, the stuff that I sprayed on his skin earlier um, really makes it easy to make some lines, nice strong lines, sharp lines. Um, just, I guess probably just the chemicals that's in there holds the hair real nice together. And if you have a good um, pair of trimmers, as you can see, it just, the chemical that you spray on there comes clean off. And uh, that's what makes the sharp line. Now here on his mustache, um, right above his lip, uh, my client went to someone else recently because I'm super booked and they happened to kind of bring up the line a little too high. So these are the kind of things that are going to happen to you when you start your barbering career. You know, you're going to, you know, you can't always cut someone's hair because maybe you're busy or something. And if they happen to go to someone else, I mean, every line that the person makes is not going to be like yours. So you have to kind of work with what you have um, after they've been to a different barber. So. Um, it's just the layout of the land, you know, you just gotta get used to it, work with it. So, um, so right above his lip, you know, I brought it to where it was, but I try to clean the line up real nice. This way when it grows in, you can, next time you can do the line a little bit lower. But uh, again, work with what you got. So here, the next step I'm doing is I'm taking my um, my fast feeds and I'm closing the blade and I'm just trying to freehand any hair that's popping out a little too much and give it a nice shape because um, I'm sure you guys noticed uh, his chin kind of was separated from the rest of his beard because it kind of grew super long and he didn't like that. So I went ahead and I kind of blended it all in. So in that case, you do have to take some length off of the chin area, um, but in the end, everything comes out nice and clean um, and it's looking good.
Here I'm using a Barber Magic Pencil. Um, this is like a nice little enhancement. You just gotta um, use it very lightly, okay? You just go along the outline of the beard. And here I'm just gonna go along the radius part and then near the ear and going down on the side of his face. And when I use the, the um, razor over this, it's gonna make this pop out a little bit better. So that's all this is for. Um, and if you wanna use the trimmer over this, uh, it works just as well, cause it kind of blends the, um, the white line away. And what that does, it lightens up the skin just a little bit. So it makes it look like the beard pops a little better. So that's all this is for. And um, you know, as you can see, you just, you gotta go light. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a razor. And here I am making sure I'm pulling the skin and I'm using just the edge of the razor. This way it can kind of be real accurate, um, but be careful not to kind of uh, use it on an angle too much because you might dig into the skin and cut them. So that's the only thing I gotta say about this technique is you just gotta really be careful. But um, all you gotta do is follow the white guidelines and again, pull the skin. And this way you cut real easily when you're dry shaving. Cause if not, you do gotta use water and um, you know, the shape up comes out a lot sharper if it's dry. So that's always that's always my goal. On this side, I started from the bottom of the cheek and I'm working my way up toward the sideburn just because I'm left-handed. And this is the left side of his face, so it's just the easiest for me. Uh, most of you guys are right-handed, so you'll probably do the exact opposite of what I'm doing. This mustache area, um, I typically have my client squeeze their, their lip down um, to tighten it up. So this way it's easier to cut, you know, when you have a solid surface as compared to like a surface that moves a little bit because of the skin. So um, I also hold the top of the lip down this way. Again, it makes a solid surface, makes it easier to cut um, without, you know, nicking your client or pulling the hair out before it's actually getting cut. Right, as a last enhancement, we're gonna put some semi-permanent hair dye in here. This is black, mixed with a little bit of alcohol in my uh, cordless spray gun. I'm gonna go ahead and just um, line up this, uh, this uh, cardboard uh, perfectly with the line that I, I made for the shape up. Um, and then we just lightly spray this, this uh, dye in there because you don't wanna spray too much because then it starts looking funky and uh, looking kind of fake. You want it to kind of be natural, you know, unless your client directs you otherwise, then you, you do what, you know, what you know is right. So here we're just spraying a little bit just to make it pop, just a little extra, and then we'll be on our way. Here I am just kind of making sure everything gets blended in a little better, um, just by brushing it. That's all that is. Continue the same process on the other side.
beard. He likes it. Uh, it pops out very nice. It's sharp. And that was the goal. So I hope you guys learned something from this video, even if it's a little bit. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.